Hi everyone. So I wanted to extend on, I think this was for water signs, but you don't necessarily have to be a water sign to be in this energy group. But I, I, for one of the water signs that I just did recently, I was getting this message about a woman coming back around and I've been channeling details on it. So I haven't done a reading on it yet. But my spirit guides have just been showing me different details about this, about this woman. And I think I got some of the details in that video that I did the other day too on the, on the first but there's some kind of warning here because my spirit guides are showing me that I need to post this video ASAP. So I feel like this woman is, I feel like this woman is either, if, if you're in this energy group, I feel like this woman is about to message you out of nowhere and you're not really expecting it. So your spirit guides want you to be prepared. For others of you, I feel like maybe you're already in contact with this woman but maybe you're starting to see through this woman, like maybe you're starting to see the red flags with her, the manipulation, certain patterns. And so you're kind of pulling your energy away from this woman. And I feel like she's, if that's your story, I feel like right now she's thinking about a way to pull your energy back in to manipulate you. I feel like this woman, I, I keep seeing two different women. So like, I feel like for most of you, this was a friend of yours from the past but for some of you, I guess this could be, uh, and don't get caught up on gender, this could be any gender, but I feel like for most of you, this is probably a, a feminine energy. It does look, it does feel like a woman to me for, for the majority of you, but I feel like, I feel like this is, I, I feel like she's isolated. I feel like however this woman is, and I'm going to pull cards so I can get more details on it, but whoever this woman is. I feel like she's running out of options. I feel like she's really isolated herself. She might have had some falling outs in the community during Mercury Retrograde because I feel like this is somebody who has emotional outbursts. And I feel like this, I, I get a strong victim energy from this woman. She loves playing the victim. I was getting that in the reading I did the other day about her too, where it's like she just, she plays the victim like nobody else. Like she... She plays on people's empathy. She will drain people as much as she can. This is a psychic vampire type. I also feel like this is a woman who kind of... She feels like nobody's had it as hard as she's had it, basically. This is somebody where it's like you can't really vent to her because she'll just make it a competition. You know what I mean? Like you tell her you had a hard day at work and she'll just say, oh, wow, well, at least you have a job. Or you tell her that you're, you know, you're maybe you're planning a trip and you're traveling and you tell her you're stressed out about, you know, travel expenses. And she says, you know, maybe she's like disabled and she says, well, you know, must be nice to be able to afford to travel or must be nice to be able to, you know, still be able to. I'm, I'm getting like a wheelchair for some, like maybe she has like, like fit, like health issues, um, not for everybody, though, but for some. And so maybe she's like, you know, you tell her you want to travel and she's like, well, must be nice to be able to be physically healthy enough to go travel. Like you can't talk to her about anything because she just, she just feels, she's very bitter. She just feels like she's had it harder than anybody else in the entire world. You know, everybody's just out to get her. Um, she just wants to talk about herself too. It's just all about her. So like, if you know, like I said, you can't really vent. There's no support from this woman because she'll just turn it around and find some way to make it about herself, find some way to make it some kind of competition, some kind of str uh, power struggle. Very icky energy here. Um, lighting some of my Palo Santo because she's kind of making my head hurt. <laughs> but I'm going to get more details on this. So for some of you, like I said, I feel like this was a friend of yours from the past or it's some kind of connection from the past. Could be like a, a sister or a mother or a friend. But I feel like, I feel like you already detached from her, like you are already aware of, of her toxicity. Um, so some of you are going to get an unexpected message from her. Others of you, she's already in your life. But I feel like if that's the case, I feel like you're starting to distance yourself from her. Like you might have become aware of her, um, like there might have been something really toxic that she did that came out to the light. And so you might be sort of seeing the red flags with her and you're using your intuition and you're being more logical about this connection instead of just feeling bad for her. You're, you're finally starting to protect your energy. And if that's your, your scenario, I feel like, I feel like she feels you pulling her, your energy back from her. And so I think that this week she, or in the very near future, I feel like she's going to try to tell you that she needs help with something. 
because I kept getting the energy of like this being urgent, like you need this warning. So like some of you are getting an like an unexpected message from this person, or if they're already in your life, it's like she knows you're pulling your energy back. So she's going to try to guilt trip you into doing something for her. Um, just major victim mentality is coming through strong with this person. Again, just, you know, feels like everybody's out to get them, feels like their life has been so much harder than anybody else's life. Um, just, just psychic vampire energy. It just, it's bad. But, but yeah, she might feel you pulling your energy back. So she might try to, she's going to try to guilt trip you is what I'm getting. If, if that's, if you're, in, if that's your, you know, if you're in that group where, you know, she already is in your life, but you're pulling away. I feel like she might say that she needs help. Like I'm seeing like a storage unit. She, like she, she needs help moving things out of storage or she needs, um, she needs help like moving something like she needs, how do I explain it? Like she's going to try to tell you that she needs help doing something that, that she actually doesn't need help with, or she has other people that can do it, but she wants you to feel sorry for her. And she wants to get you, she wants to get back in your energy field, basically. Um, I feel like this is somebody, cause I'm, I keep seeing a woman like, I guess I keep seeing this woman being like driven around places. And so, and I see two women in the car. So it almost feels like, like, I think if this was like a best friend of yours or something in the past, like you were always having to like drive her places. Like she didn't have a car or something like that. Um, let's see what else, what else do I get from this energy? Cause I see two women. I, I think for like, for at least a few of you, this is like a, like a friend of yours from the past. And I feel like you, I think you helped her with money too, possibly. I feel like she really, I feel like this woman's also like insecure about her appearance, but like she might not come off that way, but it's like, she really doesn't like how she appears, but she almost like, I almost feel like she like judges other people because she doesn't like herself or she doesn't like something like her appearance. You know what I mean? So like she might be one of those people that's like, oh, why is that girl wearing that short skirt that doesn't look good on her? Or why, why do people get piercings? Or why do people get tattoos? Or like, like always like judging other people because it's like she doesn't want to look at herself. She just, just, just a very, very negative person is what I feel. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm lighting some more Palo Santo here. <laughs> I'm going to pull some cards too. Like this, this is, you know, just what I channeled. But anyway, what I'm getting from this though, if, and again, only take it if it resonates, like you would have felt this already, this, you would have known that this person is toxic. This is someone that you've been wanting to cut out or that you already have cut out. Like only take it if it resonates, like you would know if this is your energy group. But, um, what I'm getting is she's kind of isolated herself. I feel like she has nobody left, but again, she's done this to herself. And honestly, I feel like this woman too is... I think that she's had falling outs with people recently because I just get her being alone and she wants to come crawling back to you basically. But I, th I think that this woman just takes advantage of your empathy. She takes advantage of your kindness. You know, you used to go out of your way to do things for this woman. And she knows that. You have to understand this woman was gaslighting you in the past. This woman was very mentally manipulative. This woman gets what she wants by playing the victim, by making people feel sorry for her. So this is the type of woman where it's like you distance yourself and like she calls you crying and she's like, oh my God, like I'm losing everybody. Like I really, can you just come help me tomorrow? Like I need, um, I need some money or I need a ride somewhere. I need this or I need that. Um, and it, it's like, there's nothing that bad going on, but she's just doing that. She's just like calling you crying and catching you off guard so that you'll, go, you know, so that you'll, you'll feel bad. This woman knows that you're empathetic. She knows that you, she knows that you feel responsible for her. Um, she knows that you're very empathetic. She knows you're very kind. And so she plays on that. She, she takes advantage of that and you need to be a lot smarter than this. You know, this might be somebody like, I feel like maybe she's had a hard past, but you know what? A lot of people have had a hard past and they still don't do this to people. So it's, there's really no excuse no matter what she's, what you, you know, what she's been through. Um, this woman might have had like, like, a alcohol addiction or like a pills in the past too, which again, you know, that happens. There's, it, it's not about it, it. Like a lot of people have dealt with that. There's nothing wrong with that. The issue is that she uses those things as a crutch to, 
get people to feel sorry for her. I feel like, um, what else am I getting from this too? I just feel like she makes, like she's a very weak-minded person. So she wants other people to feel responsible for her. She doesn't want to have to do any work. This is this is somebody that I can almost guarantee you, like 90% of you, this woman is not working. She's probably like getting, like seducing people for money or she's like, she's getting some kind of financial help. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, there are so many really good people out there that are on disability um, who who still like try to give back to the community or, or put good in, out into the world. So, so I don't, I don't want anyone to take this as me knocking on people that are on disability. Like that's, I totally understand like mentally not being able to work or feeling like you can't work. That's totally fine. I get that. But what I'm saying is she's one of those people where like she feels most like a decent person is going to be grateful for that. You know what I mean? Like if they're giving, if they're getting government aid, they're going to feel grateful. They're going to, they're going to feel like appreciative of that. Um, but I feel like with this woman, it's almost like she feels entitled to it. Does that make sense? It's almost like she feels she's owed money. She feels like she just, like I said, she feels like, you know, no one's been through what she's been through and, and people just need to, to drop everything they're doing to help her and support her and be there for her. And she's owed money. Like she's, She's one of those selfish people that, that doesn't feel grateful for things. She just kind of feels like she's owed things. Like she feels like the universe owes her something because she's had a hard life. So people need to just, you know, do whatever for her. So it's one of those people that like, yeah, she's probably getting government assistance, but she's not grateful for it. She's, she just feels like entitled to it. Or she might feel bitter too about why she's on government assistance. So like, cause I was channeling like, like physical health issues. So like for some of them, it's like they might have like a mental health issue or like a physical disability or something, which is might be my, why they're getting the, the financial help. But like they might be like, I feel like this person's like angry about like their health issues or like their mental disability because it's going to be different for everybody. But I feel like this, yeah, I feel like she's just like pissed off. And so she like feels like she's, um, you know, like she's owed something basically. But yeah, what I want to tell you guys, and I'm going to pull cards too to see what else comes through. But what I want to tell you guys is you really need to be smarter because I'm just getting, I just get a strong warning that it's like you're going to get an unexpected message or, or for those of you that already know her, it's like if you're pulling your energy back, you're going to get like one of those like random, like on the phone crying, like, oh my God, this is happening. This is happening. Like, like she feels that this woman is a psychic vampire. So like there's these red energy cords between you guys. So when you pull your energy back, when you start being smarter, when you start being more intuitive and more logical about this and you start being like, wait a minute, like I always feel drained around this person. Like I feel anxious around this person. I, I feel like I'm not able to put boundaries up with this person because she just, you know, tries to cross my boundaries. She can feel when you're stepping into your power and she doesn't want you to step into your power. This woman does not want to see you in your power because she knows that she won't be able to control you. If you're powerful and intuitive and, and, you know, on your right path, she knows that she's going to, she's, she knows that she's not going to be able to use you, to drain you, to, to control you. Um, and again, I just, I, I keep, I keep getting the energy of just, just really icky victim mentality. So, I feel like some of you, not for all of you, but some of you feel responsible for her for some reason. Like, let's say that I'm getting something that like, okay, so this is only for like one person, but I'm getting for someone that like, maybe like she was in a physical accident. Maybe she makes you feel like you're part of that. Like you caused that. Like, let's say that she like was in a driving accident or something. That's why she's disabled. She's going to like make you feel like, well, if I hadn't like, you know, I was coming to pick you up. If I hadn't had come picked you up, I, I wouldn't have been in that car accident. That's just an example. Like she'll, if she's able to, she will make you feel responsible for her disability or her, her issues. You know what I mean? She doesn't like to just, just super toxic, just icky energy. I would stay far away from this woman. This woman is bad, 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 ugh, gross. Like, I keep lighting my Palo Santo as I channel her because I'm like, she's really just icky. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of you, like, feel responsible for some reason. Like I said, some of you might have had some hand in her physical accident, but it's not your fault. 
but she wants you to think it's her fault. Or she wants you to like, maybe you were the one that was like there for her. Like maybe nobody else was there for her when she went through some kind of physical accident. Like maybe she just had nobody else. So she just tries to, it's almost like you tried to do the right thing and help her through something. And then she just kept making you feel like, like you were just obligated to keep doing it from that point forward. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like you used to, you know, you used to take me to, to lunch on Wednesdays or you used to, or Thursdays or whatever you used to, um, you used to, you know, make phone calls for me and make my doctor appointments for me and, and you used to uh, let me borrow money from you and now you're not doing those things anymore. Like how, like how dare you? Like she just, she got, she's very entitled. Like she got used to you doing those things for her. Um, but yeah, what I'm getting, okay, so, so again, you need to be smarter because this woman is manipulating you. She's gaslighting you. She knows you feel responsible for her and so she's going to she's she's gonna basically try to use that to her advantage she knows this woman knows that you're not responsible for her I want to make that clear to you guys because some of you are, are really misled by the things that she says to you this woman can fake cry she can fake cry or she can be th this I, I just keep getting this energy where it's like there's gonna be some emergency with this woman because she feels like you're pulling away from her like she's gonna have She's thinking about it right now. I mean, I can't say for sure that she's going to go through with it, but I'm getting this energy of this woman going like that. That's going to be like, like she's going to act like something bad happened to her and it's not that bad because she wants your attention. Um, or, or if she, uh, if for, for some of you that like, haven't talked to her in a while, I feel like she's really alone now because I feel, and again, you're not going to hear, you're only going to hear her side of the story, but I feel like for some, this woman had a lot of falling out during Mercury retrograde. Like she just doesn't have a lot of emotional control. So I think that she might've lost her temper on people or people might've called her out on like being in this victim mentality. Like she's pretty much just alienated herself from the community. Like she's done this to herself. You have to understand that she has to take responsibility. Finally, she has done this to herself. It does not do you any good to enable her. It doesn't hurt, do her any good for, to continue to allow her to, you know, to continue to enable her like that. But for some, it, it's like, I think that she had these arguments with people. And I think, I think she felt, I think she might have pissed the wrong person off. Like, I think she might have, like, called someone in the middle of, middle of the night. Or she might have, because I just get the energy of her, like, expecting something. Like, a kind of, like, a Karen vibe, honestly. Like, she expected something from somebody. Like, she expected, like, she expected, like, a discount. Or she expected something from for, for free. Or she expected someone to drop what they were doing. Like maybe someone was like going on vacation and she thought they would just drop it for her. Um, like, cause I'm just getting her like reaching out to somebody and like, they were like, like, I, I hear this person like scoffing at her. Like, are you kidding me? Like the entitlement? No, like she, she demanded something from somebody that was just very, very, her, her demand was very unreasonable. And I feel like this person kind of just was like you know what I'm done bye like this could even be like a family member or a friend but I feel like I feel like you're not going to hear that version of the story what you're going to hear is I have nobody I'm so alone poor me um these people don't love me anymore they're not supporting me like you're you're not going to hear the other person's side of the story and if you heard the other person's side of the story you'd be like oh wow that's ridiculous like that that's insane like, this woman's sense of entitlement is absolutely insane. Um, so I just want to put that out there because, like I said, for some of you, she's going to play the whole, I'm a lone card, no one loves me, you're all I have, please come back, um, I'm sad without you, I miss you, I'll appreciate you, just blah, blah, blah. Um, and again, she's, she's alone because she's done this to herself, and I want to make it clear, too, that she also is unwilling to apologize to these people. So I feel like it's more than one person that she's caused drama with or that she's put a heavy burden on them and they've been unwilling to tolerate it. Like they're not willing to deal with her anymore. People are getting sick of her. There is multiple people that are getting sick of this woman. They're seeing through her. So she's losing people right now. But again, that's her own bad karma. And it's it, she also hasn't apologized. This woman is so selfish and so entitled that she also hasn't realized her, she hasn't fully recognized her role in this, like why people are, are detaching from her. 
So I just want to put that out there because she's she's going to spin it in a different way. She's going to, you know, say that people just abandon her and, you know, she doesn't, she's tried to make it work with people and she doesn't know why everyone's leaving her. She might have been dating somebody for a little bit too and like she just sabotaged that, but she's not going to tell you that. She's going to be like, oh, like he just you know, he just cheated on me or up and left. And it's, it's there. She's lying. There's something that she's lying about. But yeah, I want to say, she, yeah, she hasn't apologized to anyone either. Like she's going to try to tell you probably that she tried to fix these relationships, but no one was giving her a second chance. And that's not actually the case. I feel like, I feel like she might've like called them and just kept arguing and kept being like, like, it's one of those people that just like does not take accountability. So she might, you know, Maybe if you were trying to get her to fix some something with somebody else, like, from her past, like, she might have called them and just, like, yelled at them or just been like, well, you shouldn't have pissed me off or you shouldn't have, you know, denied my request for help or just just, just major entitlement. Um, and so I, I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like she hasn't apologized. She hasn't taken accountability. There's actually people from her past that would forgive her if she were to do that. So I just want to say when she plays the loneliness card, please don't buy into that. She is alone because she's choosing to be alone because she's choosing to continue the same behavior. She's continuing to, um, you know, cause unnecessary drama with people. She, she's doing this to herself. There's, there's, you know, she's not willing to apologize. So this isn't somebody... No matter what she says, she doesn't have to be alone. She's choosing to be alone because she'd rather be alone than apologize to people and make things right. Um, but yeah, with you, I feel like, so I'm going to get into a card reading too. I'm, I'm primarily channeling here, but with you, I feel like she, um, like I said, she just takes advantage of your empathy, your gentleness, your kindness. And as soon as you have to be prepared for this battle, because Whenever you get into your power, whenever you start being logical and being intuitive, she's going to, she, she's someone, she's not, she plays dirty basically is what I'm feeling. Like she's not some, there's nothing off limits to her. You know what I mean? Like some people, even if they're arguing, even if there's drama, they're still going to be genuine. They're still going to show up authentically. They're still going to be truthful and honest. This, this woman's not like that. She will lie. She will cheat. She will steal. She doesn't care. She will say what she needs to say to get her way. She will try different approaches. Um, so it's like one of those things where it's like she's going to try to, you know, she's going to start off, I think, trying to make you feel bad to, to pull your energy back in. Like she's going to try to, like I said, there's this warning that she's probably going to tell you that she needs help with something. Either she's going to tell you she needs help with something and she's going to try to make you feel guilty like, oh, I really, you know, I need you to move something for me. Like nobody else is around. I'm, I don't have anybody that can help me. I don't have any money. Please just come, come do this for me. And then, you know, when you get there, she kind of traps you and gaslights you and, and starts crying and saying that, you know, how alone she is and please just come back into her life and she'll change this time. Just, just a lot of bullshit with this woman. Um, so yeah, guilt tripping you into helping her, into helping her or, you know, playing the loan, the alone card, like telling you how alone she's been. So you need to, you need to screen your calls right now too, because I feel like for some, she's going to try to catch you off guard, especially if you guys haven't talked in a while, you need to be mindful about that, about, you know, her spying on your social media or her, um, trying to just trying to, she's just so sneaky and so manipulative. So like I said, some of them, she, she might call you for, if you haven't talked to her in like a couple of years or so, she might call you from some random number and just, you know, again, just crying. And she, you know, she went through this and that, and I don't know, she's going through it. She has nobody. She, God, I hate, I hate saying this. I hate saying this, but she might even play the whole I'm suicidal card. I hate doing readings like that, but it's like, it's honestly what's coming through. That's not for everybody, but for one one or two of you, I honestly feel like she's going to try to, she's going to say what she needs to say. And you can, there's ways to be there for people like that without giving them your energy. You know what I mean? Um, and, and again, use discernment. Like if there's somebody in your life that really is feeling that way, like you do want to be there for them, but you need to use your intuition when this comes in, because you'll know if you can use your intuition, you're going to know that she's being fake and that she's fake crying. Some of them might say that they lost their wallet or just all this stuff is happening and it's not really as bad as, 
this woman lies about what she's going through to to make herself seem like a victim. Like, I don't think she might have it bad, but I don't think she has it nearly as bad as she wants people to believe, especially with you. Like, I think I think she's actually lied to you about things in the past just to get your attention. Like, like, uh, she might have like lied about like, a, I'm here, I'm feeling like a mental health diagnosis or something, or I feel like she might have lied about like, like losing money or going through things just because it's like, you know, wanting wanting your energy back. Again, playing on your empathy, playing on your kindness. And you really I would just cut this person out. This person's so nasty. I would just cut them out, whoever they are, relative, friend, I would not deal with this. Um but yeah, be really mindful about who who is calling you if you haven't heard from this woman in a while and you're feeling this energy like she might pop up. Be really, really mindful of the phone calls you answer don't remember this reading if you get caught up in the moment like if you find yourself talking to her on the phone and she's giving you a sob story and asking you to come pick her up or she's stranded somewhere or she needs money or she needs this or that remember no like don't, don't go for it say like I'm sorry that's go you know sorry you're going through that I hope you can find some help it's not with me though find somebody else like you need to set strong boundaries with this person or this woman will use and use. She'll just, she'll take and take and take from you. Whatever you give, she'll take until you're left with nothing, until you're just an empty shell. She will just take and take and take. She will not stop taking them. She will not be grateful for it either. She, like I said, she feels entitled. So, you know, it's like one of those people where it's like you let them borrow a hundred dollars and then the next, you know, couple months later, they're asking you to borrow a thousand dollars. It's not one of those people that will just be appreciative and just be like, wow, you helped me out at a low point. This is somebody who's like consistently at those or consistently pretends to be at a low point. Um, but yeah, she's going to, so that's what I'm seeing is she's going to try to guilt trip you. She's going to try to catch you off guard so that you can't say no to her. Um, because she feels like she feels you pulling away from her. She feels that like energy shift. She feels that you're being smarter. So you need to be prepared for this battle. I want to say too. So for those of you, um, for those of you that you do have this woman in your life, like you need to be prepared for this battle because like I said, when she feels you pulling away, that's when she tries to think of any, any little deception she can to pull your energy back in. So, and you'll probably notice this pattern where it's like whenever you've kind of pulled away and you've kind of done your own thing, um, that's when you get a call from this woman and it's just like, oh my God, this is going on and this is going on and there's all this drama and I just need you here. I need you to deal with this for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like you'll, you'll notice that pattern if you look at it closely enough. Like you'll notice a pattern with this woman of just, you know, doing whatever she can to pull your energy back. I want to say too, whatever she makes you feel guilty for, because I feel like she, she's, she, for some of you, she has some way to guilt trip you and you need to be smarter than that. You're not responsible for her. Even if she wasn't a physical accident and you were partially to blame, you still can't just live with that for the rest of your life. You are not responsible for this woman. She is a, she's an adult it's there's there's no excuses here you know what I mean like you really need to be smarter than this let's see sorry I'm lighting some more palo santo <laughs> let's clear this bitch out <laughs> okay let's see I feel like she doesn't like other people being in your life either. Like if this is like a friend or, or whoever this is that you know, I feel like she really doesn't like other people being in your life. Like she really wants to alienate you from other people. She wants to break you down. And that's what I, that's what, that's the thing is like you have this soft spot for this woman and it's like you're not understanding. This woman wants to break you down. She wants you to be weak. She wants you to be, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, crazy synchronicity. Um, she wants you to be weak. She wants you to be helpless. Like you need to understand this about this person. She really does not want what's best for you. She does not want, she doesn't care if you're happy or not. Um, some of them don't want to see you happy, but others of them just, they, they don't care if you're happy or not. Just as long as they're taken care of, they don't give a shit about anybody else. Um, because I just get the, the energy of like wanting to isolate you and alienate you. She doesn't want you to have good influences in your life. She doesn't want you to think for yourself. She doesn't want you to use your intuition. She doesn't want you to go down your own path. She wants you to stay stuck to her. 
she wants to trap you basically um such a gross energy okay let's see what the cards want to say about this swords just anything that takes your attention away from her she doesn't like so she doesn't like you having like friends or, or other friends like outside of her she doesn't like she's just just ugh, just gross energy four of swords seven of swords yeah it's just kind of reiterating what we've been saying four of swords is like meditation kind of going inward so she, right now she's thinking about a way to get you to invest in this to get you to keep to keep building this in this connection whether this is like a family member or a friend i'm not getting it's romantic for most of you i don't feel like this is somebody romantic i feel like this is like a friend friend or family member something of swords is sneakiness lies deception three of pentacles is about building something together right now she's in this kind of like almost like a meditative state where Again, you haven't talked for a long time or if you guys were in each other's lives, I feel like recently you pulled back from her a little bit. Like you you recently, um, like she feels an energy shift where you're not dropping everything to be with her. Maybe you put her in her place and she doesn't like it. You might have told her, like maybe she called you panicking and or something. Or maybe she like called you needing something and you're like, hey, I got a lot on my plate today. I can't do that for you today. I'm sorry. I'm busy. I have errands. I have to run, but I'll try to do that for you next week. Something, some, she might have heard something she didn't like from you. Like she wasn't used to getting that energy from you. Or, you, or she might just energetically, maybe just telepathically just feeling like you're standing up for yourself and you're not, you're being smarter. So she's going to try to be sneaky and try to figure out how to, yeah, moon. Things hidden, you know, hidden motives, things that are hidden beneath the surface, things that haven't come to light yet. Trying to be sneaky and trying to figure out how to get you to, um, to not be done with her, basically. She might even hold something over your head. She might even, yeah, she wants this person, she wants somebody to be in an eight of swords mentality. She wants this person, male or female, she wants somebody to, to stay in what we were saying, a victim mentality, to stay in a, to stay blindfolded. She wants to blindfold someone. She wants to gaslight someone and manipulate them. She doesn't want them to, the karmic wheel is turning and she's going to have bad karma and she doesn't like it. It's such a gross energy because it's like somebody's trying to work on themselves. Somebody's trying to do better. And she wants that to lead, lead to heartbreak for them. Yeah, she wants them. She wants them to be alone. It's really a fucked up energy. She wants people to walk away from them. She wants them to be alone. It's like keep, and it's it's not for some of you. This you could be a man dealing with this woman. This could be somebody that you know. But for uh, for a lot of you, for most of you, I I saw like two women. Like I felt like this was like a friend or like a sister or a cousin or something like that. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to pull some more cards too, but like I was saying, being really logical, being really intuitive, she will try anything and you, you need to do this now. Like, I think this is someone that needs to be cut out of your life now because she's going to block you and it's only going to get worse over time. This is not a good person. She's not a good woman. Like if I got the energy of somebody that was just like, I do get readings like similar to this where I'm like, okay, this person's a good person deep down though. They just have traumas. They've just been through a lot. No, this woman is gross on a soul level. Like her soul is disgusting. Like she is a psychic vampire type. Her soul is probably even darker than how she is on a conscious level. Like that's what some of you guys are not getting. This woman is nasty. Like she is not, I don't know how she was able to play on your empathy, but, but whatever she's holding over your head for some, it's like, she might be saying she's going to tell your secrets or she's going to, she's going to do this or that if you try to disconnect from her I promise you it is not worth it to stay connected to her whatever it is whether it's money or she has your secret she's going to expose or she's going to try to tell people whatever she's threatening to do or or again just guilt tripping you and making you feel like you're responsible for her for some reason um because you're you know 
there's probably different variations of that but but however she whatever she's doing whatever she's threatening you with if she has you need to just be like you know screw it just go ahead and do it it's not worth it there might be drama there might be losses but nothing I can't imagine anything being worse than keeping a woman like this in your life like she is disgusting like trust me like if this is your story like intuitively like you don't even know how disgusting this woman is like you don't if you knew how how absolutely disgusting this woman is on like a soul level you would you would just block her number you would never talk to her again you would not you know what i mean like you would you would be done you wouldn't feel an ounce of empathy for her even if you're a really loving high vibrational empathetic person you would not feel a damn thing for her if you knew how disgusting and how manipulative she really is behind the scenes like this woman is fucking gross um sorry anyway i'm gonna pull some more cards but yeah, she doesn't want to see you um, have other friends or get better or improve your life. She doesn't want to, anything that would take you take your attention off of her and that would, uh, you know, make it hard for her to manipulate you. She doesn't like that. When you're at a low point, she's able to get in because she's able to, to you know, guilt trip you, to, to play on that energy, um, to drain you. Because when you start getting happier and you start wanting to improve your life, that's when you start distancing from her because you like, I almost feel like somebody is like in this state when it's like when you're depressed or when you're at like a low point, you don't only, you don't, sometimes you don't realize how toxic she is because you're just like used to dealing with this. But it's like when you open your mind or you travel or you have like a new perspective or you start feeling happier or you start feeling, um, like motivated if you if you feel basically any any good energy that takes you out of stagnant energy that's I feel like when you get in that energy that's when you start thinking hey maybe I should cut this woman out like you start seeing it from a different perspective you start finally recognizing how toxic she is and like I said she senses that energy shift she senses you you know pulling your energy back from her and that's when she attacks that's when she's like okay shit better better come up with some sob story to get them you know to get them to to come back in or I'll tell them how alone I've been or I'll tell them I need help with something and then I'll I'll yell at them if they don't do what I say um and this is somebody who it's really gross because it's like she studies per people's personality traits to so that she knows how to properly manipulate them so like if somebody's like you know romantic emotional vulnerable she'll manipulate them in a certain way to play on those traits or if somebody's more logical, she might talk to them in a more logical approach. Like she'll match people's energy. She's like a just I don't know what where her soul comes from, but it's it's not it's not good. It's a very karmic energy. This is not somebody that you've had past lives with either. I think she I, I don't I don't get the sense that you've known her maybe one other life or something, but I don't I don't get a strong soul connection there. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I don't feel a strong soul connection or a strong past life connection. If you are somebody that believes in that stuff, though, I feel like she'll manipulate you to feel like you guys have that kind of connection, though. Like, if you're somebody that's, like, very, like, spiritually in tune and, like, you talk to her about that stuff, she'll pretend, like, like, oh, yeah, I bet we were, like, I bet we were close in a past life or something, you know, like, just that kind of manipulative energy. Again, there's nothing off limits for this woman is what I'm getting. You know, she doesn't play, she, she plays dirty is basically what I keep getting. Is she, she doesn't, she'll try whatever approach will work on you. It's all about getting what she wants. That's, that's her, she's very narrow minded. It's just all about whatever she wants. So whatever approach works, uh, anger, empathy, you know, or faking empathy, whatever works on you, she'll go with. So in the past, like I said, that's been guilt tripping you, that's been playing on your empathetic side, making you feel bad for her, making you feel responsible for her. She knows that you feel responsible for her for something. And she plays on that. She she manipulates you through that. She's like, okay, cool. He, you know, he or she feels responsible for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Like this woman is absolutely disgusting. So yeah, you need to be mindful of that. And like I was saying, you need to be prepared for a battle with this person because she's not used to being told no. She's somebody, I feel like she has a lot of really, I just get such a great, bad energy. But I feel like she's somebody who has a lot of control issues too. And she's really not used to being told no. Like she, she's very, I feel like she has emotional outbursts. 
And I feel like and with that sense of entitlement too, I feel like if people tell her no, I feel like she just loses her shit if somebody tells her no. Or if somebody tells her something she doesn't want to hear. Like she's got such deep control issues. Um, and again, I feel like she's a bad person. Like I don't get the energy of somebody who's damaged, who, who you know, is a good person deep down. No, this woman is is just toxic. If, if there was good in her decades ago, it's gone. Like I, I'm telling you like, this could literally be, I'm getting like a soul, I don't even know what that means, but I'm getting like almost like a, I don't know what it is, but I almost see like one soul leaving and another soul entering. Like maybe the person you loved is like literally gone. You know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe there was like soul loss where it's like to the point where like some entity took over. So I don't know. It's like, she's not, there's nothing there though. If, if this is somebody that you've known for a long time and like you, you, you're holding on, hoping that they come back to who, you know, who they could have been or who they used to be, that person's gone. Like they're literally gone. Like I feel like that soul has left. I don't even know how to explain that because I've never, I don't think I've ever channeled anything like that before, but it's, it's almost like, I just keep getting the message. Like whatever you think is there is not there anymore. Like it's gone. You know, this is somebody, there's, there's no... There's no amount of mental help that's going to get this person to, like, this is this person's personality. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's no amount of counseling that's going to, like, get this person to, like, be somebody else. You know what I mean? I honestly feel like if this woman even did get counseling, she would probably manipulate the counselor somehow. She would try to manipulate the counselor. She would try to pretend like she was doing better in counseling than she was. Something like, it's just, it's just a really bad energy. Just everything is, oh, just just all about her. Just it's so gross. But anyway, what I kept sorry, I, I know I kind of went on a tangent there. What I was wanting to say though, and what I was what I was starting to channel, um, is, you know, like I said, when you pull away, she feels it, and she tries to, you know, she'll have a sob story, or she'll she'll try to, you know, make you feel responsible for her. She'll she'll manipulate you and you need to be smarter than that and you need to just cut this woman out just block her just be done whatever you whatever she has on you whatever you you stand to lose just lose it it's honestly worth it to get this woman out of your life because she's blocking love she's blocking money she's blocking abundance she's blocking you from from everything pretty much anything that can make you happy this woman is a huge block in your life and for some of you this is like somebody you haven't talked to in a while so you're you already cut the cords like you already did the cutting fair spell but she's wanting to step back in because she has nobody else to use and manipulate like she's already alienated herself so you know in that case it's like just kind of like a warning like hey don't let her back in it's going to be the same crap as before um but yeah you need to be prepared for a battle because I feel like like I said, she's very emotionally unstable. Um, when people tell her no, it pisses her off. She's not used to being told no. She's kind of like spoiled spoiled little brat energy. Um, like she doesn't take no for an answer. Someone tells her no and she's like, okay, I guess I have to manipulate them to get what I want. Or I have to go, you know, I have to go to someone above them to get what I want. Like... Like, like a manager tells her no at the store and she goes to the, to the CEO or something, you know, it's like that kind of energy where she, she doesn't just, she, it's, it's such a, it's such a nasty energy because it's like, she really never, I don't get the energy of her like ever taking accountability. Like she might pretend to, like if she's forced into it, she might pretend to have an empathetic side, but she doesn't have an empathetic side. She doesn't, she's not a good person. She pretends to be at times to get what she wants to get so that she can drain people like a psychic vampire type. Um, but yeah, it's just such a weird energy I get because it's like she really never, whatever she asks for, and I, I'm getting the energy like a lot of times she'll ask for things that are not reasonable. Like it's not reasonable to demand and expect that out of people, but she doesn't care. Like she'll ask for things that like, Like if she's told no, she won't just, she won't just be like, oh yeah, that's, you know, that, that makes sense to me or I can understand that perspective. I, I get it. It's like, she might like ask for like a discount at the store. Like maybe she'll ask for like a disabled discount and like she's told no instead of just being like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's a store policy. I can't expect special treatment. She'll just be like, I want to talk to whoever's above you so I can get that discount. Like she doesn't, it, it's, she's, she's delusional. She's crazy. Like 
but yeah, if you saw this tr person's true colors, like if you pass the manipulation, like you're you're not gonna want to be anywhere near this woman. But be prepared for a battle because, like I said, when you tell her no, like she, she's she's already feeling you pulling away from her. But when she really recognizes it, like when it comes to like when you actually get to that point where you're like, no, I'm not available this day to help you with this or or when she actually when it she's she's already kind of aware that you're pulling away. But like when she when it really hits her that you're like pulling away, pulling away, like that's when she's going to try whatever she can. And like I said, you need to go just go through this battle. You need to just go through it. Like whatever you have to lose, whatever she threatens you with, just be like, okay, do it. I'm done with you either way. I'm I'm not. I'm done either way. I don't care what you do. I don't care who you talk to. I don't care what rumors you spread. I don't care if you, I'm hearing like, don't give me money or don't give me like help or something like, like there's whatever it is. Yeah, we just keep getting these cards where she's like, she doesn't want you to be victorious. She doesn't want you to get on a good path. She wants to cause conflict and drama in your life. She wants you to be weak. Again, she hits you at those low points when she knows. Because it's like when you're at like a high point, when you feel motivated, that's when you start pulling away because you start seeing her true colors, you know. Yeah, she wants conflict in your life. She wants you to be heartbroken. She wants you to be at a low point. She wants you to just need her and nobody else but her. She's a very weak-minded person too. Like I said, she wants to put all the, she wants you to, to just handle everything for her. She doesn't want to have to be an adult. She doesn't want to have to do anything for herself. Yeah, it's such a nasty. And yeah, she just wants conflict in your life. She doesn't want you successful. She doesn't want you happy. This might be like the type of like best friend. Cause I keep saying like for a lot of you, I feel like it's like two women. I see like two women driving around, like you driving her somebody somewhere. Um, like out in the woods I'm seeing but it's gonna be different for everybody but I just keep getting this energy of like like she might pretend like she's protective of you but really she just wants to isolate you so that you don't have anybody else to turn to so that like she can just drain you more psychic vampire again like you, you if you saw what what was going on like on a soul level like on the astral plane energetically you would, you would just be so done with this person. You need to stop letting her play on your empathetic side. You need to stop being so nice and you need to tell this person no and you need to stick to it no matter what she says. No matter what she threatens, you need to say no and you need to stick to it. Block her. If she makes a fake account, block the fake account. If she has family or friends try to talk to you for her, block them. Be done. Trust me, your life will get a million times better because I keep seeing her. She keeps blocking it. You start being successful, happy. She doesn't want that. She wants you heartbroken. She wants you in conflict. She wants you hidden, hidden intentions, hidden, hidden motives here. She does not want you to succeed. Oh yeah. And what I was saying, she might pretend like she's like, cause I'm seeing like friends for some and it's like, you know, she might be like, Oh, I don't like that other friend of yours. Or I don't like your boyfriend. I feel like he's, I feel like he's toxic or he just wants to use you. She just wants to isolate you. She's going to pretend like, you know, she's probably pretended like she's just being protective of you, but no, she just wants you isolated. She could be an earth sign, Tara, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. I almost feel like, because there's two different women here, and I almost feel like she wants to create illusions so you don't know what, where, which, who to choose or what path to go down. If this is, for most of you, I feel like this is not romantic. For most of you, I feel like this is like a family member or a friend. But for some of you, it's almost like. She might have brought somebody else into your life to try to distract you from somebody that would have actually helped you get on a better path. Um, Because you might have like told her about someone that you wanted to be with or something. And she might have been like, like, no, you're going to be with the person I want you to be with. Or I'm going to manifest somebody else for you that won't you know, make all, you know, someone that would just allow you to stay complacent and stagnant so that she could keep using you. Um, but yeah, she caused some kind of illusion here. For some, I feel like this could be, this could actually be romantic for some where it might be like a, a third party karmic that like, like wanted to pretend like she was this person's like other half or something. Like, I don't know. It's just a weird energy I'm getting here. 
It's like she knows the karmic wheel is turning and her time is up and she doesn't like it. The magician, two of cups, negative swords. Tell me more about this magician. This woman might have actually caused issues in a relationship of yours. She might have actually done black magic to get someone to reject you or get you to reject them. Or to bring somebody else into your life. Like if she didn't like, maybe she didn't like your partner or something. Um, or she didn't like one of your friends because they were influencing you. And so she like maybe did spell work to try to get this person out of your life. Or get you to meet new people. Like get you to meet somebody else. Tell me more about this magician. Yeah, it's almost like she felt this energy. And like, like we have this, this knight coming forward with his sword. It's almost like this toxic fucking bitch was like saw this couple that was about to like be together or like they they were already together and she was like nope like this is no we're not doing that i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure this leads to loss disappointment regret some of them actually did black magic ace of and that truth is coming out yeah that truth is gonna come out and this person's gonna be left behind yeah they're gonna be left out in the cold they're gonna have some bad karma for doing this too they're gonna have some really bad karma for doing this But I want to say too, if this is your story, and like like I said, if you're if you're distancing yourself from this person, this person could have already done black magic on you or on you and someone else. Um, again, their intention is to isolate you and and just make you keep you in the dark, keep you. They they want you to stay under their control so they can keep using you, basically. And this person, don't feel bad about this because this person is not capable of love. It has nothing to do with anything you did or didn't do. Like, this person cannot love anybody. This person is just, this is a psychic vampire. Like, this person is like like a demon in a human body. This person is absolutely disgusting. So there's no, don't get in your head thinking like, oh, why couldn't they love me? Or why didn't, you know, this person is a demon. Like, this person is absolutely disgusting. Like, they, demons don't always look like demons. Sometimes they look like you know, demons wouldn't be able to, like, manipulate people if they always looked like demons, would they? Like, no one would, would deal with that. What is, what is that, that? What's that quote? Like, the devil comes to you disguised as everything you could ever want or something like that or disguised as, like, a beautiful man or woman or whatever. It, it's like, yeah, this person's going to try to pretend to be empathetic or, or to have your best interests at heart or, or be protective of you. This person is too selfish to be capable of love. They are too... This woman is way too selfish to be capable of actual love. You need to be mindful of this woman. Yeah, because I'm seeing she might have done black magic on you. <sighs> Such a nasty energy. Ugh, that wasn't expected. I mean, to that, you know, to that, ex just all this stuff that's coming out is like, damn. Um, I think it's a warning, too, that she could potentially be thinking about doing black magic. So you need to... Again, you need to cut her out. You need to be done with her. You need to block her. No second chances. No, no negotiating. No, you can't. Someone, somebody that's this, that's this entitled and this just, there's no reasoning with her. You're not going to be able to give her closure or make her understand. She's, when someone talks to her, when someone has like a disagreement or they communicate their feelings, all she's thinking about in that moment is how to use that against them, how to use their secrets against them, how to expose them, how to, how to manipulate them, how to get what she wants out of them, how to drain people. Like that's all she's thinking about. You don't owe this woman anything, no matter what she's said or what she's made you feel. You do not owe her anything. It's way past time that you cut her out of your life, that you block her so that you do not lose out on, on blessings, on money, on love, on all the abundance that probably wants to come in that she's, you know, hasn't wanted you to have. But yeah, there's a warning to go through this battle. Like I said, you need to, and you don't want to give a psychic vampire what they want. They they love drama. They thrive off of that energy. So like I said, just block this woman. Just be done. Say your piece if you need to, but just just be done. It doesn't matter if she calls you yelling, calls you crying. Just be like, I don't know. You just know. Just no more. You need to be smarter. When you have, because some of you are going to have that conversation with her and you need to, it's like she knows how to, press your buttons she knows how to get under your skin and how to manipulate you and you need to be smarter than that and no matter what she says or does you need to just be like go ahead and do it I'm I'm out I'm done I'm blocking you um 
like I said, whatever whatever the loss is that you have to take by cutting this woman out, it's, it's going to be worth it. I promise you, even if it doesn't feel like it in the moment, you're going to be so much happier in the long run to have someone like this out of your life. You don't even realize how much she's been blocking you from, from the things that you want to manifest in your life. Um, yeah, there, but there's that warning. Like I said, you need to be prepared for that battle because she hates being told no. So there might be more drama with her where she might try to cause like issues or I feel like some of them might, might do black magic or pay someone else to do black magic. And you need to just, just let the chips fall where they may be like, okay, fine, do it. But I'm still not ever going to, you have to stick to it too. Like I'm still not ever going to let you back in my life. I don't give a shit what you do. I don't care what black magic you do. And that's, that's taking her power away. Like she's stole this woman has stolen all of your power. But once you take your power back from her, she's, it's, it's like a little spider that's gonna, that's there that's scaring you, but she doesn't have any real power. You know, right now she has power, but it's the power that you've given her. Once you take that power back, she's not going to be able to do anything, but she's going to, again, she's, she's going to try to cause drama, try to talk to people that, you know, probably try to do this and that. Let her, let her do it. She'll get bored eventually because you're going to block her on, you know, all platforms. She's going to get bored because psychic vampires love drama. They love attention. They love sucking people dry of their energy. When she's not getting that energy from you, she'll find someone else to get it from. So you have to, whatever she's threatening, you have to just go with it and just keep her blocked. Ignore her. Don't, don't give her whatever she says. Don't, because like I said, there might be some drama where she tries to do anything she can to get you to message her. She might even pretend like she's sick when she's not sick. Like something that, I don't know. I just keep getting like, she'll do whatever. She'll lie about whatever she has to lie about to get your attention and energy. Um... But yeah, you got to go through it. You you have to, it, it's inevitable. It's better to do it now than later because you're going to lose all, out on a lot. You're going to be, you're not going to have a happy life with this woman in your life. You're going to be miserable with her in your life. Energetically, she's like on it, like in the astral plane, she's actually been draining you more than you realize. Like she's actually been like, like attaching to your energy and like draining you. Like I don't think you even like realize what's going on behind the scenes. It's pretty bad. Like you need to get, if you saw what her soul looked like, you would be so done. Like you, you need to just, you need to be fully done. And again, eventually, because when you, when you block somebody like that, like eventually she'll get bored and she'll be done too. But it might be some drama and chaos at first. Just you, you have to just go through it, honestly. Otherwise it's just going to get worse and worse with her. Page of Wands, the Emperor, Three of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have stability. You're going to be able to, to be the person you want to be and start building. Yeah. Yeah, we have Queen of Cups and Ten of Cups too. The Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Like, emotional fulfillment, happiness, true love. Like, you're going to have good things come into your life once you get rid of this block. What is the devil about? Chariot. Yeah, once you move forward from this, this devil, this demon, basically. <laughs> yeah, going inward and healing clearing this energy up um i would do uncrossing spells on yourself do protection rituals protection spells keep up your protection i would do a cut and clear ritual on this person but when you do the cut and clear spell remember when you cut and clear someone you have to really be done because if you talk to them again the, the red cords will energetically reattach um this woman i i, I like it's almost like a monster. Like, it's literally like I'm seeing the red cords, like, between you guys. And I'm seriously, it's like somebody, like, she's, she's really draining you. Like, she's, you, you really have to cut those cords. Like, those cords need to be cut. Don't talk to her after that because the cords will reattach. Block her. Keep her out of your mind. Just be done. Just honestly go to the right people for support, do what you need to do, but like be done with this woman. Like, oh my God, ew. You have no idea like how many blessings you've lost out on and that you're, you know, you're going to continue to lose out on because of her. Like I said, she wants to block your love life. She wants to block you from being happy. She wants to block... I don't know what kind of being it is because I do believe in other realms, honestly. Like, I do believe in, like, multiple realms and I'm seeing some kind of weird being. Like, sh like her soul isn't from Earth, you know what I mean? Like, she has, like, a really 
like a low dimensional soul. Does that make sense to you guys? Like either like demonic or some kind of lower realm. It's some, I'm seeing some kind of like monster almost. It's really, it's not good. <laughs> Whatever good you thought you saw in her was an illusion. Let me just, let me just say that. Whatever good you thought was there, it's not. The light you're seeing her in her is the light that's in yourself that you're projecting onto her. It's not, it's not her. It's not in her. The good, any good in this connection was from you, not from her. But yeah, you need to just, you need to go through the psychic battle, honestly. You need to just do this. Like I said, it's going to clear so many things up for you. You're going to be so much happier in the long run. Even if you have to spend like the next month or so just dealing with this and just cutting her out and just dealing with the drama, letting the chips fall where they may. Honestly, just do it so that you can, you, you're, you're going to be so glad you did. You're going to be so happy you got this, this bitch out of your life. Trust me. Um, like so many things that you've been wanting are going to come in for you once you get rid of her. For some, like I said, she's already done black magic or she's thinking about doing black magic. I do feel like she might. And this could be like a religious woman too that might, you know, like one of those like religious people where it's like they pray for God to control people, but they're praying to demons, but they think they're praying to God. Like people don't get that with black magic. People are always like, people always think it's like just like, you know, witches that, that do black magic, but it's not always people that identify as witches. Sometimes it's really like, like the old like Catholic or Christian lady that like, you know, has all these like angel figurines, but she prays to them to control people um, or to do what they want. And she thinks it's God's will. Like, you know, like, like there are some really evil people in, in the church. Honestly, there are some demons in the church that actually turn people away from God. And I'm feeling like this could be like this, the case for this woman where it's like, she might not, she might not sit there and like do candle rituals and actually be a witch, but she might be praying to what she thinks are angels or, or, or God. And it's actually her praying to demons. Um, or she might even know that she's praying to demons. You know what I mean? But she prays for she, her prayers are negative. Her prayers are like, please let me control this person. Please force this person into, into doing my will. Like just, just, just gross energy. For some, she might be paying someone else to do black magic. It's going to be different for everybody, but, but again, just go through it. Just go through the psychic battle. Keep cutting her out. Don't give her the inner, whatever she says, she will say, she will pretend like she's on her damn deathbed to get you back on her energy after you cut her out. You need to be, you need to be at that point where like, I don't care if you are or are you or you're not. I'm never going back to that. You need to be at that point where no matter what she says, you're just done, you know? But yeah, be prepared for the black magic. Like if she hasn't done it, she might be considering it. But again, you can uncross yourself, you can protect yourself, and you can cut the cords. And again, when you cut the cords, do not talk to her again because the cords will reattach. But those cords need to be cut because right now I'm seeing like a monster like just sucking someone's energy and they don't even realize what's happening in the astral realm. It's not good. Like, the, cut the cords. <laughs> yeah, cut the cords, step into your masculine role, male or female. You might even need help. I'm almost like saying you might even like need a priest or you might need somebody. You might need help from somebody that like knows about this stuff so that you can stand your ground and protect yourself. Temperance. Yeah, you you might need to seek help to get this taken care of. The lovers, the star. Yeah, you need to seek help and healing. If you're not already, if you're not already a witch and you don't know how to do this, then I would seek help from somebody that does know. Um... So uncrossing, so cut and clear spell, uncrossing spell, and then protection, consistent protection. You can even take it a step further and do reversing spells if you want, which basically sends their own energy back to them. But yeah, you need to get some kind of help for this and you need to do this now and you need to, to stand your ground no matter what. And let the chips fall where they may. Queen of Swords, the Sun, Tower. Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting we got these cards earlier. I guess I didn't shuffle them well enough. Because in that last reading, I was getting like the Queen of Swords was somebody that's guarded with you. But she's... 
it's like something's coming to light and then we got the three of swords there it's almost like it's interesting the three of swords didn't come up this time though yeah everything needs to come to light about this person yeah you need to use your intuition you need to be the high priestess and the empress male or female and make a judgment call the hermit yeah ace of wands some of them might play on your loneliness but i think you're gonna make this move and you're gonna move away from this person and it might give you anxiety it might be a battle at first you have to have the strength to do it and then you're gonna plant yeah you're gonna have your wishes fulfilled because of it yeah childlike innocence you're gonna have your faith restored wishes fulfilled two of wands is about um like long-term planning, like lots of good energy is going to come in for you once you get rid of her. I just can't, I know I keep saying it. I know I keep, but I keep getting this visual. It's like this fucking monster, like literally like, and I don't want to scare people because you can deal with this. You don't, you're not stuck in this energy. Like I don't want to scare anybody. I'm just putting it out there so that you understand the severity of this because I honestly feel like some of you like don't, you don't get how much she just messed up your life. Because I literally see, like, it's almost like an elephant-looking monster. I don't even know what it is, but I'm, like, I'm getting, like, a visual of it. Like, I can't, like, physically see it, but I get, like, in my mind's eye, I get, like, a visual of this, like, it's, like, a weird, weird creature. It's, like, very lower-dimensional, like, some type of weird demon or something that just, like, has all these cords attached to this person. She might even be trying to bring other people into their life to attach, like, so that they stay drained, like, like manifesting toxic people and toxic karmics to be in this person's life so that, you know, to make sure that even if she gets cut out, that this person's vibrate, this person's staying low so you can keep draining them. But I cannot emphasize enough. It's like some kind of weird monster that has all these weird, ugly cords attached to this woman or to this man, whoever this is. They have all this, this, this nasty cords. This needs to be cut. If you know, if this is your story and you know someone, a professional, like there's a lot of people out there who... You have to be careful when you go to someone for like a service, like when it comes to like psychics, which is like, you know, some of them will just manipulate you and use you and just say like, oh, we have to, you know, you have to pay me more and more to get rid of the negative energy. And it's just like an ongoing battle. You know, use your intuition, choosing the right healer to do this. If you cannot do this yourself, if you really don't feel powerful enough to do this yourself, like make sure you go to the right person so that they don't just kind of, you know, cause even more issues for you. Like really use your discernment when choosing a psychic or a healer. Um, really be careful with that. But but yeah, I'm seeing some of you do need to get some kind of help. But um, but yeah, don't be scared. Don't give don't give them power. Like take your power back from this person. Um, don't be afraid of this. It's like you'll be able to cut the cords. You'll be able to as long as you stay strong and no matter what they say, you keep moving forward and you ignore them. Uh, I feel like this person maybe in like a month or two, I feel like they will get bored not getting your attention they will start finally giving up but again that's only if you stay consistent if you if you go like a month without talking to this person and they're trying to cause drama and they're trying to get you know friends or, or family or relatives or whoever to talk to you th for them or they try to you know guilt trip you or make you feel bad or they try to threaten you with this or that if you talk to them and you give them that attention they're wanting, you're going to be back to square one. You know what I mean? Like if a month goes by and they, they plant, they figure out some way to get in your energy field again, they're going to be right back to square one because they're going to be like, oh, that worked. And you're going to give them power. So that's what I'm saying. No matter what they say or do, you, you, you stay strong and you ignore them. Don't give them the drama. Don't give them the attention that they're wanting. Just, just really stay strong here. Um... I don't even know what kind of like creature is that that I see. It's so weird. It's so weird. I do channel other realms sometimes. So it's like I do get weird messages like that sometimes. But I don't even know what that is. Like I don't even know what I'm seeing. It like looks like some kind of weird. Like it's got like like an elephant or something. I don't fucking know. Like I don't. Not an elephant. That's probably the wrong way to describe it. It's like a weird demon that I'm seeing. I don't I don't usually see demon. I don't like in my mind's eye. I'm seeing some like weird energy here. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah. Cut the cords and once you do, again, stay strong no matter what they're doing, no matter what they're threatening, you just clear it up. Or if they have something against you, if they're like, oh, I'm going to tell this person you did this, just tell them yourself. Just be like, hey, I, I made this mistake. I'm sorry. Um, just, just tell them so that they don't have anything on you. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, either way, you got to stay strong and you're going to be amazed. Like if you're able to do that, if you're able to cut the cords, uncross yourself, clear away the black magic this person has done or the black magic that they might do once they lose you or what they're considering. They've probably done black magic on you before either way, honestly. Um, if this is for you, if this is if this is resonating with you. But clearing that black magic out... Um, and then, you know, like I said, cutting the cords, keeping them cut, no communication after the, after the cords are cut, block anyone that tries to make you communicate with them so that they're, they're out. Um, don't let anybody manipulate you. Be smart, be, be wise, be intuitive here. Um, stand in your power, take your power back from this person. And again, do consistent protection spells on yourself. Keep your physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, especially, especially spiritually, keep yourself protected. You know, you do that, you stay consistent with that. Eventually this person will get bored of being ignored. They'll finally realize that nothing they can do or say will get your attention and energy back. And you're going to be in your power. You're going to have your, you're going to take your power back and your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're going to be good. You're going to be happier than you can even imagine. So anyway, I hope this resonated for somebody.